It's time for another edition of Scrapbook Memories. I'm Beth Madlin. I'm Julie McGuffey. And we're joined by special guest host, Melissa Inman of Scrapbooks Etc. Thanks for being with us. Thanks. Well, Melissa, you are going to tell us all about 8.5 by 11s. I know it's a format that we did originally when we all started scrapbooking because right. there wasn't much else available. So what do you have that's new? Okay. I love 8.5 by 11 scrapbooking. So what I like are these um, Bay Box albums from Scrapworks. Mm -hmm. They allow you to do an 8.5 by 11 in a landscape format, which oh. I think is really fun. It's kind of a different twist on an eight and a half by 11. And then they also have this system of sheet protectors that have pockets so that you can just do separate little inserts. So you could actually put like a five by seven photo in here unscrapped if you hadn't had time to scrapbook it yet. Exactly. Uh -huh. You know, little inserts where your four by sixes can go. Or journaling, right? Or journaling, yeah. You can just throw it together real quickly and feel like you've accomplished something but you haven't had to spend a whole lot of time. This is a great idea. Yeah, and they just recently came out with these companion sheets. It comes as a 12 by 12 sheet. Oh! For all sorts of different themes. Do they punch out or do you just kind they of tear? They do. They're, okay. they're perforated. Oh my so God. Just pull apart real easily, just like that. And you can just mount your photos right on top of them. You can use them for title strips, you know, things like that. Well, really we love easy. things that makes it quick and easy. That is, that's yeah. a really right. great I idea. I love that. Well, to go along with our theme for eight and a half by 11, then of course we have eight and a half by 11 kits. And in a kit, you get pretty much everything that you're going to need to make some uh, pages. There are the papers here, there's printed papers, there's also cardstock, I just fan those out a little bit. And there's actually uh, the two-sided cardstock. There's oh, stickers, nice. there's even a stencil if you wanted to draw a design pop-outs, and just anything that you need to make some eight and a half by 11 pages. It's nice when it's all together and it's all coordinated. It could be a you. small album already done, for, you know what I mean, pretty much done for right, you. Right, yeah. exactly. That's nice. Well, I love working 12 by 12 in that format, but and I'm a chronological scrapbooker for now. I might change my ways. But what I do is, is when I have a picture that lends itself to just an eight and a half by 11 page, I mount it onto my 12 by 12 cardstock to keep it going along with the whole size. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to have two separate albums going chronologically. So on this one, for instance, I just did the regular format of eight and a half by 11, you know, straight up and down. I guess it's vertical, right? <laughs> and this is the one where I did horizontal. Um, and just, it was just, a, again, this photo on a 12 by 12 page, I just didn't want to have all that empty space, but I think it lends itself to this eight and a half by 11 horizontal format. Well, we have a lot coming up on today's show. Melissa, she'll be right back with us with one more eight and a half by 11 layout. Then take a look at eight and a half by 11 in a new way with Julie. Lori Smith's beginner tip is all about rubber stamps. Then, no matter what size you prefer to make your pages, there's no reason to commit to a scrapbooking method of either all traditional or all digital. Here's Barbara to show us that you can really combine both methods. Then is one last 8 half by 11 page with Ellie Jills. And Melissa and I will be right back. For a little inspiration, here's one of the winners from the Get Ready Craft Contest mini rolling organizer by Wendy Jo Avey of Hagerstown, Maryland. 